Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 crazy things you've never noticed until now. So these are some really insane things in day to day life that you've probably never noticed before. And now I honestly can't unsee some of these things and they've really blown my mind. So guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply to all of you. So coming in at number 10, we have number angles. So this is a very cool thing that I've never noticed before. And I'm not sure if this is on purpose or a coincidence, but it's something you see every day but have never noticed. So if you look at the numbers from 0 to 9, you can count the number of angles on each number, and it will match what the number is. For example, 1 has 1 angle, 2 has 2 angles, 9 has 9 angles, 0 has 0 angles, and so on. And you can try this with any number as long as it's a single digit number. And you also have to write them in analog form, but that is the original way of writing numbers so it's still correct. So I don't know if this is on purpose or not, but I guarantee you can shock your friends and maybe even your math teacher with this amazing fact. But next up we have inaccurate maps. So you know those maps and globes you guys had at school? Well, they were lying to you. And that's because those maps aren't to scale. And the way you can tell is if you look at Africa. Because Africa is drawn about the same size of the USA on maps, but in reality it could fit Spain, France, Holland, Belgium, the USA, Italy, Switzerland, all of Eastern Europe, India, China, Japan and the UK in it, and still have space left over. And Russia is usually drawn as the largest thing on the map, but it's only around three quarters of Africa's size. So this really puts into perspective how big Africa actually is, and it's also crazy that maps at school of all places would lie to you. But coming up next we have nursery rhymes. So nursery rhymes are nice innocent songs that we're played as kids, right? Wrong! It turns out there's sort of a seedy underside to nursery rhymes, and that's that they're scamming you. Because if you listen to the three most popular nursery rhymes, which are the alphabet song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and Bar Bar Black Sheep, you'll hear one thing. They all have the same melody, meaning they're pretty much the same song. And if you get three people and each person sings a different part, they'll match up and make one song. And it's crazy that most people haven't noticed this, even though we've likely heard all of these songs over and over as kids. But yeah guys, take a closer listen next time you hear these songs, and you'll see they're identical. Identical. But next up we have pie. So this is kind of a silly fun one, but it's pretty cool. And it's another thing that you can show your friends in math class. So we all know the mathematical constant of pi, which is 3.14159, etc. And I assume we all know about pies. You know, the things you eat. But pi and pi share something very similar. And no, it's not just how they sound. Because if you write the word pi as in the food backwards, then it looks exactly like pi as in the number. So there you go, guys. I'm sure that's something you've never noticed, but it's a weird coincidence that this exists. So show this off in your math class and get ready to blow some minds. But coming up next we have Barney and Nelson. So if you're a Simpsons fan like millions of other people are, then you likely know the character of Barney Gumble, who's Homer's friend and the town drunk. And if you know Barney, then I bet you know Nelson, who's Bart's friend and is a school bully. But because of the difference in these characters, they never really interact. But these characters have a lot in common. They have the same hair colour and style, the same hunched back, the same eyes and the same teeth, and the same shirt and the same colour jeans and shorts. And maybe this is because they're the same person. Or maybe Barney represents how Nelson's gonna turn out in the future. And it's also commonly known that Nelson's dad abandoned him when he was very young, so maybe this is a Simpsons creators hinting that Barney is in fact Nelson's dad. Yeah, mind equals blown. But next up we have Humpty Dumpty. So this is another nursery rhyme exposed. I know guys, I'm killing your childhood memories. But anyway, I'm sure we know the nursery rhyme Humpty Dumpty about an egg that fell off a wall. But wait a minute, where in the rhyme does it say that Humpty Dumpty is an egg? Well guys, it doesn't. And if you still don't believe me about Humpty Dumpty not being an egg, well this is the original illustration that came with the rhyme, and as you can see, it's a little boy, not an egg. And Humpty Dumpty only got changed to an egg after the original writer died, and another copy of the book was published by a guy named William Denslau, with this illustration making Humpty Dumpty an egg to make it more kid friendly. I mean it's better for an egg to get dropped off a wall than for a kid to fall off a wall and die, right? But coming up next we have bed. So this one is a little bit like the pie one from before because it's a little silly but also pretty cool. So if you write the word bed, then it actually takes the shape of a bed. So the word bed itself is actually shaped like a bed. And even though this isn't as shocking or as amazing as some of the other ones on this list, I found it kind of funny. And many other people do too because this has gone viral on the internet several times. But next up we have Pokemon. So it turns out that some Pokemon creators are very lazy. Specifically the ones who made these two Pokemon. One is called Ekans and the other one is called Arbok. And you might think what's wrong with them? The names sound pretty creative to me. Well what if I told you that Ekans is just snake backwards and Arbok is cobra backwards. So it turns out that the guys who made this just reversed a few words. And some people do know about this now because of Pokemon Go but not that many people knew about it before. And when Pokemon Go got big and people noticed this, this image went viral. And this image also 
also went viral. Yeah, I'll leave that for you guys to work out. But next up, we have 7-Eleven. So this is a very minor detail, but if you guys get a little OCD, like when the volume has to be on a certain number, and that kind of stuff, well, this will annoy you. Because you've probably seen the logo for 7-Eleven before, and who knows, you might see it every day. But have you ever noticed that the letter N in the word 11 in the 7-Eleven logo is in lowercase when all of the other letters are in capitals? See guys, that small N in the title of this one wasn't just a mistake. What do you take me for, an idiot? But seriously, even though this is such a small detail, it's all I can think about now when I look at the logo. But next up, we have Mockingjay. So this is some promotional campaign for the Hunger Games Mockingjay movie. And I'm sure you guys can see the bird with an arrow in its mouth, but hopefully you guys are old enough and you remember the cartoon character Johnny Bravo. Well, what if I did this? And there you go, it's an exact fit to the bird, and now, if I take Johnny Bravo away, I bet you guys can't unsee this. And now, whenever you see this logo, you'll likely just see Johnny Bravo holding an arrow. Because I saw this image a while ago when it went viral, and now I can't look at the Mockingjay logo the same ever again. So try showing this and some of the other ones on this video to a friend to totally blow their mind. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the craziest thing you've never noticed until now. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.